Hey everyone, so I guess we're live and today we're gonna sketch some uh, muscle cars at least we're gonna try to sketch a muscle car and see how that goes first I want to show you my cat Greta Greta I don't think she wants to say hi right now nope. Hi Nah, she's pissed off <laughs> Let's go check where uh, where Mr. Linus is hiding. Linus, there he is. Hi, hi, friend. So they're just chilling. So here's my. I can show you my desk as well if you want to see that. This. It's kind of messy right now, it's a lot of things going on. But uh, here are all my markers. And we have some more back there. And we have some acrylic paints over here. I gotta clean this. But for now, I use this surface right here to sketch. And this is the paper that I use. As I mentioned, it's just regular printing paper. can get it for uh, I don't know how much it costs it's really cheap so it's not like super fancy or anything like that so lately I've been sketching some muscle cars and I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight so I'm gonna do something similar to these these sketches with it which I have right here so I did this one last night it was a lot of fun kind of dirty I totally messed up with this uh, <laughs> with the background there, uh, so I took photos before I added the background because I had a feeling I was gonna mess it up. And then we have this one which I posted the other day, and also a few doodles like this a Mustang or something like that. First of all, we need to find what we want to sketch. So I like to go to Google and just type in, uh, let's see. Just type in muscle car like this and then just click on images and see what pops up. Something cool that has some uh, dynamic to it. I like these kind of, these, per, these uh, perspective is cool. Very hard to, kind of hard to sketch because it's such a strong perspective. But uh, let's see what we find. I love red muscle cars, they just look awesome. Uh, this is cool. I really like that one. And this one as well. So let's try and do this one. Let's do a side view. Uh, it's been a while since I did a side view, so let's try and do this one. So my phone is almost dying, so I gotta plug it in. Fortunately, I have my cable right here. And check this. This is my arm for my phone. So I have to bend this down uh, to hold my phone and so that it holds in this position. And it's kinda, uh, <laughs> it, it takes a while to get it right. So let me just plug in the phone first. So that it won't die on me. And give me a second. Just have to bend this thing down. And attach it to the phone. There we go. Sweet. All right, I hope it's gonna stay there now. First of all, I gotta put on some music, just anything. That'll do. Okay, so we have a side view this time. As usual, I'm gonna start with my big pen which is this one right here. 
Same thing with this pen, it's really cheap. And I buy them in 12 packs or 10 packs or something like that. Um, and they last a really long time, so they're really good. I am just gonna log into my page and so I can see if there's any questions while I do this. All right, now I'm gonna try and do this. I, I disconnected the Wi-Fi for, uh, for the phone because I think that has something to do with it not loading in HD when I'm, when I'm finished with the video. It gets really messy. Um, uh, the quality is really messy, so I'm gonna hopefully this is going to be better just when it's not on Wi-Fi It's weird, but we'll see So if you have any questions along the way, just feel free to ask whenever you want. I'm gonna see the questions live here anyway All right, so Let's see how to start with this side view Just get organized my windows here. Sorry. So, as usual, let's start with just making a baseline. I'm cold. I feel like I'm not warmed up at all, but let's try and do this anyway. And then put out the axles, the wheelbase. Something like that. I'm gonna make these adjustments as I go, even if it looks like like crap in the beginning, because these lines here are not gonna show in the end anyway. So if you're making mistakes when you start out, it's not not a big deal. Just uh, just go with it and adjust if you need to or whatever. From here I'm just gonna start with the bodywork and I have this reference picture image up in front of me uh, so I can see uh, I have the guide there just so I can see what's going on and if I'm on the right track or if I need to make some adjustments or whatever but it's always good to have a reference image in front of you so so you can uh, just check every now and then that you're on the right course I've noticed a lot of muscle cars, they have these uh, square arches here compared to modern cars, which usually have a round arch. And see the front overhang is not that big, something like that. And the hood goes all the way back here, it looks like. Let's just connect these two. Just getting the uh, the big purport or the big shapes of the car. Just want to get that done. Uh, just so I get an understanding of if the proportions are correct or if I need to make some other adjustments or whatever. But uh, before you go into any detail, just uh, get the outline right. Get the outline down on paper. Check everything that it looks okay. And by that, just check guide. Have some guide points. For example, I have where this curb is gonna start sloping down. I have that, uh, uh, this is, I just got check it towards the base here, like what's going on here. And I can see that the end of the wheel arch is at the same point at the, uh, at the point where this starts to slope down. So that's, that's one of those guidelines you can have, keep in mind when you're sketching like this.
Uh, what is this kind of muscle car? I think it's a Sh Chevelle, I might be wrong, I'm not sure. It looks like one. And it has a weird, uh, weird window design. Looks similar to this. And of course it doesn't have to be like 100% correct. You're, you're sketching, that's one thing that uh, that I like to to do is just modify some some things every now and then because it just makes it a lot more interesting at least in my opinion than just straight copying something and by modifying uh, details I mean like modifying this uh, this uh, little uh, corner here for example or the radius on that thing stuff like that and there is a line going here I'm going to put that out. There's also this line continues all the way to the front. And you can see the wheel base was off to start with. It's a good thing that I adjusted it early on. Uh, I'm going to have to fix those tires or wheels later. So if if this was, if I was sketching this for like two years ago or something like that, I would stop right here and think that, uh, I mean, I have to redo this. Uh, nothing looks good. Uh, I'm not happy with it and blah, blah, blah. But now I'm going to decide to just stick with this for a bit longer and try to fix every single problem that I see. It's really that simple. That's, that's how you get better. You just look at the sketch, see what, where the problems are and then just try to adjust the problems as you go along. Let's see, the front looks a bit weird. Uh, I can see that it's a cutoff like that. And we have a uh, front bumper. Basically a square in the front. And the hood has a scoop on it as well. Let's put that out. And add some uh, curvatures to the to the body. Also, there's a bumper in the back, chrome bumper sticking out here. Something like that. Always gonna adjust it later, doesn't matter right now. Let's add some details to the window. So let's add the uh, cut line for the door. And also in the front. Just working on some uh, uh, lines to uh, define the outline a bit more than uh, the lines are kind of dirty, and I'm try just trying to clean those up. Keep in mind that this is the first sketch, it's the first sketch of the day, so uh, the lines are messy. It's just a fact. Add some graphics in the front here. Sweet. What else? We need to add the interior. 
I like to add the uh, the interior through the uh, window, so you can see basically see through that because that's going to give it a uh, a 3D. Um, it's gonna, just going to give it some depth. And let's connect the bottom bottom part of this. So I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make the the wheels on the other side of this car. I want to make them visible. And you do that by simply creating a, a line like that. Then what you want to do is connect these really fast. I feel my hand is starting to warm up now. That's good. And also uh, stretch the shadow of the, the baseline out as, for as long as the car goes on. So it's the car obviously stops here. But it still means that the uh, is it going that like that or is it more down like this? Uh, you want a shadow underneath the car for as long as the car extends in both the front and the rear. So that's what I'm putting out right now. Cool. What else? We need, what do we need before we jump into markers? I think we have most of the details are there. I mean, we need to still need the, still need the, the rims and all of that, but that's going to take, uh, take some time. And those are super detailed rims on this specific car. So, uh, I'm going to simplify it. Well, it seems I can't make circles today. But let's make these like the old school American racing style rims. They're usually five spoke and they have these rounded ellipses. They of course have a center thing right there. And then we want to make these kind of things. Spokes that looks like small ellipses that'll do same thing on the back one two three four and five I think we're ready to jump into markers now and I'm gonna make this red All right, let's jump into markers. So let's see what kind of reds we have. Uh, this is a uh, fluorescent rose. I don't think we're gonna be using that. Rose red, sounds good. We have deep red, we have vivid red. Both of these sounds good. Then I need a lighter red. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of them here. Cosmos might work. Pastel violet or vermilion, vermi lion or whatever it's called. You can see for yourself right there. So <laughs> what we want to do start with is of course start with the lightest shade. And I think this is the lightest shade. And I always like to keep, uh, I always like to have the, the top of the corner or the bottom of the corner just to make some tests, test runs with each marker. So I know what I'm actually sketching with. That's a bit too pink, I think. So I'm not gonna be using that one. 
this is probably gonna blind my eyes. Yeah, that's not what we want at all. We do want that one though. And did we try this one? That's good too. All right, so let's start with this one because this is definitely the lightest one. And I'm pretty much always using the broad and I never use this, uh, this end or not that often. Maybe when I'm using black, I use that end to fill in the, the tires or something like that. So let's see. We have a light source coming from the top as usual. That means that all the surfaces facing upwards towards the sky is going to have uh, a lighter shade to them. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Actually, I'm going to start where I know there is going to be red. So obviously the, the horizon line here is going to be red. Let's see how the lines go on this car. Just fill everything in like this because these areas that I'm filling in right now are, oh, that's the cat machine again, doing its job. So the, the uh, area that I'm filling in right now is going to be darker than this uh, when we're finished. So I just want to fill that, fill that in just to get a sense of, uh, of the sketch. Also filling in the roof line here. And we have a this line right here. I want to do it really fast because I don't want a lot of color on it. That's all right. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do this super, super clean and I'm not gonna go into every single detail here because uh, that's really, I don't really like to sketch that way. I just like to do it fast, fast and easy and just move on with the next sketch. So that was one shade. So let's move on to the next one. I think the next shade is going to be this one. Probably that works. So what should you think about right here? Well, you want to think about to the lines that you already have and you want to, uh, as I said in the previous video, just to make the reflections deeper by adding several, several uh, marker layerings or la layers of markers to them. So the more layers they put on, uh, the deeper the reflections are going to be. The problem though with this kind of paper is that it's so uh, it's so cheap and it's not meant for markers so if you go over it too many times it's going to start uh, look really bad basically so uh, if you really want to make a detailed sketch of something you might want to use marker paper but most of the times this works great for me at least for my purposes. See, let's add some at the back here as well. Since, since this, this, the body of the car here is uh, kind of, it's rounded. So the further down we go down here compared to here, the further down we are down here, the, the more angle towards the ground, uh, the, the metal is more angled towards the ground. And that means that it's going to get darker and darker and darker the further down we go with the marker on the the body of the car. I hope that made, made sense. If not, just comment and uh, I'll try to explain it better.
Add some more touches to this with the marker. I think we're done with this marker actually. I'm gonna go on to, to the next shade. That is going to be, we have three different ones here and they all look pretty much the same. So it's not that one. Either deep, deep red or uh, vivid red. So let's, same thing here, we're just gonna add a, a new layer of, uh, uh, of markers to this. So yeah, I can explain it again. Uh, the, the, the thing with layering markers is that if you have a reference picture, reference picture, it's way easier to explain, but you kind of see, first of all, where the light source is hitting and the further away, the, the further away from that light source, the surface is that you're sketching, the darker is going to be, or if it's tilted away from the light source. So we have the light source coming from the top here now. That means that this body down here, the body panels down here are going to obviously be darker than the ones that are, like this shoulder line is tilting upwards towards the sky. That means that it's going to be a lighter shade since it has more light on it. Gonna see if I have a, an even darker red than this, because I think uh, we're going to need it for for this bottom part here. And you can see that the that the big lines that we had from the start, they are starting to bleed now because that's that's just normal because we're adding a lot of marker onto this so uh, it's kind of obvious that the lines are going to bleed and some people have issues with that I really don't have a big issue with it I just go in and fill in this I, I just fill in all the lines one more time when the sketch is when I'm when I'm done with the markers and I'm gonna do this do that here so you're gonna see how how that's done I think of muscle cars, the important lines are these long swooping body lines that go, that I'm sketching right now. I think it's really important to, to be careful with, with those, to really show that they exist because they give, they give some character, they give a lot of character to the car. Uh, we might go a darker, so let's see if this is, uh, that might be even darker shade than that, or if we have an, let's see. I want like a really dark red now. Cherry pink might work. Let's see. All right. No, it's still not dark enough. I'll keep it like that, it's fine. Let's see, I have this one, could possibly work. That's no, too purple. Nope. Ah, whatever. I'll just keep it like that for now. If I find a deeper red, it would be awesome. No. So let's uh, jump into the black and let's pick 
the 100% 120 black. And now we're going to add some contrast to this sketch. And we're going to make it really start to pop. I like to fill in the wheelhouses. Is that what it's called? Wheel, wheel arches? Uh, almost 100% uh, all the way black. Because it just looks good. And it's easy and fast as well. I think we should maybe make the rims bigger than they are right now. They're kind of small and there's too much tire for, for my taste. So I think I'm going to make the rims bigger and the spokes longer. I'm looking at the video and it looks like it's uh, HD all the way now, which is great. But it's kind of weird because now I'm using data from my phone since I'm not on my Wi-Fi. So I got to figure out how to fix that. Might be something with my Wi-Fi settings. That like it, it doesn't allow me to record in HD or something. I'm gonna be careful not to mess this up since I'm gonna since I'm gonna adjust the the rim there later. So I don't want to go in too much with the black there yet. And connect it. So this is basically the. This line down here is the shadow of the car that's on the ground. And you always want to sketch that out so that it uh, looks like it's sitting on the ground. Otherwise it's going to look weird if you don't have a shadow of the car. Same thing here, I'm going to change the rim size. Step it up to maybe like 22s or something like that. We'll see. And I like to add black to the base of the car all around. So something like that, and let's fill it in all the way around. Same at the bottom here. It has to have some contact to the ground, so let's fill that in. Let's do the window now. So I would like to fill uh, fill in the window as well with black all around the outlines of the window. And a, a trick here is that you can make the top part of this a bit thicker than the rest of uh, of the black and the reason for that is it's going to give you some more depth to the sketch let's see where's the a pillar oh, that's right there so sometimes I get confused by my own lines there are too many lines going on so it's kind of hard to see what is what 
and at the bottom as well. So let's just connect this line here. Fun stuff. So what else? We need black. Do we need black somewhere else right now? I don't think so. I think we're good. Good for now. Uh, we are going to add some some uh, air vents and stuff details, but that's that's later on. So oh yeah, we need to add the black down here for the baseline of the car. And try to try to keep it as steady as possible when doing that. Uh, let's see. Let's let's continue with the window and fill that in. So I want to have the interior more a bit more visible than what it is right now. So I'm gonna just lower it down and make the perspective a bit more prominent. So this thing right here is the inside, that's the headline, headlining or whatever it's called. And this is basically the interior of the car that you're seeing through there. And I want to have warm gray for that. This is a warm gray 4. I think I might go even darker than that, we'll see. Let's see how this looks. Actually it might... might be good with just this. Yeah, sure. See, these lines are messed up. And same thing with the head and with the roof here. But uh, those are just these. All these we're gonna fill it in with a big pen once we're done with the all the markers that we need. Even though I'm starting to do it right now because it's kind of annoying. But no, I'm not gonna do it now. Let's continue with the window. I want to have some blue in there. Uh, since it's, I want, it, I want it to be like a blue tinted window. Not sure if that's too much blue. Might have a frost blue. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty cool. Sweet, let's keep that, looks good. Now we need to go back to the wheels here because uh, they don't really work. So I'm just gonna extend the rims, make them bigger. It's a pretty easy thing to do. So this is what I mean by adjust as you go. You just start with something that you have in mind. Uh, you see if it looks cool, if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, you just uh, you just go go back and change it like this until you find something like that you like and looks nice. So there's no no quest there's one question so far. And I think I answered that one. Uh let's figure out these wheels here. How to uh, what is what? Can we just make a just mess it up like that? I think we need to go in with the cool gray here. So I'm gonna go with cool gray. Let's see what we have. Uh, cool gray five, that's good. So what I'm doing with this now is filling in the inside of the rim because it looks, 
it's there are too many lines here now and it's just a, a bit confusing for me so i want to add some shading to get some definition and to understand what is going on here kind of want to keep the like a break disc in the middle Does that make sense? And then the break disc as well is going to have a Okay, cool Priscilla, I'm glad glad you got it answered there. Uh the front of the car, well, you have the light here. So that's not going to be red, that's going to be orange or even black, I don't, I'm not sure yet. And then you have the big chrome piece here. This is answering Blake's question, what's going on in the front of the car. Same thing here, you have the chrome thing back here, so these are going to be cool gray and blue. And that's, uh, I'm going to do that a bit later. Uh, once all these small details are, are finished here. Uh, let's see, we're going to do the same thing in the back. Just add some some shading to the inside of the wheel. There we go. All right, let's get, let's go and do the chrome parts of this car. Uh, let's see, we have the the chrome part here. The chrome is kind of it can be difficult or it can be easy. It depends on how you want to look at it. So I like to just make chrome keep as much white as possible in the in the piece already. So uh, for example, we have the obviously the ground is down here. That means that the ground is going to reflect in the chrome. So let's just make the ground like that. That's all we need to do. Add some cool gray there. And then at the top, we have uh, the sky. So the sky is obviously, or most times, it's going to be something blue, a blue shade. So I like to add the blue at the top here. And then we can add the frost blue to just uh, make a gradient that goes down here. And that, that's all you need to do for a chrome piece. You don't really need to do any more than that. Joshua, thank you for watching the tutorials. I appreciate that. And yes, this is definitely going to be on YouTube later. And uh, actually, I think this one is going to be in HD for the first time. Because it looks like it's on H in HD right now. And it doesn't make sense if it would not export in HD. The previous videos, when I look at them myself on the screen, I can see that it's blurry and messed up. And that's how it turned out when, when I exported it too. And I'm doing the same thing on the chrome part here. Just going back to adding some uh, some uh, details to this chrome, like blue and the cool gray. Can I also add some more blue to this uh, to the window? Just to give it. Give it some more life. You see, this, uh, I don't know, it's, it's small details like this that make, at least I think it makes a big difference. Just this line here. It just makes things, make things come alive more and uh, makes it interest, more interesting to look at. So I kind of want to have the, the wheels in chrome too. So I'm going to make those blue, the spokes. Just fill in the blue. And it's really dirty, dirty because there is a lot of uh, big pen lines in here already. And obviously those are bleeding in with the marker and so on. And let's work on the headlights here. They seem to be orange. And I have a bright orange here. 
Uh, I think this looks... No, nope, it's not that one. Uh, probably this one because it says... It basically says orange on it, so... Let's use that one. And it doesn't make a big difference from the rest of the car. But what we're gonna add here, here when we finish, we're gonna add the white highlights all over this car. And we're gonna add that to the chrome and to the wheels and all of that, and that's gonna make a big difference. Not sure about the wheels on this car. Uh, they are a bit, or they are very messy, extremely messy. But uh, there's nothing to do about it now anyway. Things happen when you sketch live. Things that don't happen when you're not live. It's funny, funny how that works out. But I gotta do something about these wheels. Um, let's add some more black to it. Black always works like cover up your mistakes. Just add black to it. So let's see if we can do that. The only thing is I don't want to go too much with the black pen here because then it's going to look like it's an off-road car because it's not low enough. So it's like a balance. You got to balance out what works and so on. But I think this works for now. Try and see if we can make this work. Blake, I like them equally. Actually, I I do like the touch new because they are uh, they're just not ridiculously expensive, and that's a big deal for me. I don't care about brands and stuff like that. I care about the uh, the results that you get from the things that you're using, the products that you're using. If the results and performance are on top, on point, then I'm gonna go with that, even though it's a brand I've never heard of before. So yeah, both are good. It totally depends if important if uh, if branding is important to you, then uh, definitely go with the Copics. And if not, you might want to try these out. They're on sale right now on borntosketch.com. We have like, I don't know if you've seen the website, but we have, I don't know how many sets. We have a bunch of them there. So I'm adding some more rubber to these wheels uh, to make them beefier. And also because I'm trying to hide my mistakes here. And my mistakes are that the, the rim is messed up. It has too many big lines in them. But I think I uh, managed to kind of fix it. At least it looks better than it did. All right, so are we ready for highlights? I think we are. So highlights, and then we're gonna add the white, uh, the white pencil. We can add that as well. Why not? And then the white, uh, what's it called? The white ink. So what did I just say that we're gonna do? Highlights, right? Yes. Let's see where the highlight pen is. Right here. So we're gonna use this one now. It's just a white pencil. Nothing fancy. Uh, what you want to keep in mind is still here uh, where the light source is coming from. So obviously it's from the top still. That means that we're going to see some thin, thin reflections on the rubber. And since rubber is not really a reflective 
surface we don't want to use the white ink on it because that would give like a strong reflection and a strong high highlight which just doesn't make sense if it's rubber it would just be a very subtle uh, white reflection like this oh if you ha I forgot to say that if you haven't shared this video it's kind of too late now but Feel free to share it on your page or your uh, your profile or whatever. That would I really appreciate that. I want to get people sketching. That's the whole point with these videos. So let's do the same on the front. Well, some people say that. Uh, uh, I think everybody you know can can sketch. It's just a matter of. Uh, practice and if you really want to do it you can you can you always find time for it to practice and that's kind of the point with these videos I just want to make these videos so maybe you see the video and then you you get uh, motivated or inspired to do something on your own And it's, I mean, I sketch every day anyway, so why not just record it or put it out like this? Uh, I think we're done with the pen there. I don't think we need anything else for the pencil. I mean the pencil, not the pen. I, I basically just use it for the tires, that's it, and then I don't use it anymore. So it has a very simple job. Now I'm going to use this one though. It's the Uni Posca White. I can't see the time, how long we've been, oh, 51 minutes, okay. And we need to shake this first, so we get all the ink mixed up in there. And one thing you want to keep in mind here is that you go, if you're a right, if you're uh, sketching with your right hand, you want to start over here and move your way to the front here. Otherwise, you're going to start messing up your, your, your hand, it, you might be in the way, and you might start to mess up your, your ink lines. Alright, so we have a chrome part here, obviously it's going to have some white highlight to it. So add it like this. Bam, doesn't have to be more than that. There's something going on here, it has a chrome. Sorry, it's just hard to talk and do this at the same time. Usually I'm not this detailed. I don't do it this low. I just like to s splash this on, <laughs> on the sketch. But for some reason I'm doing it slower than usual. That looks cool. I want to add some thickness to this chrome thing that's around the wheels. And let's do the rim as well. So the rim ends here. We have the highlights of the tire right there. So we want to keep the highlight of the rim at the same spot. That means it's going to be somewhere around here. And if you mess this up with the white highlight, there's no big deal at all because you can always go back and fill this in with the uh, with a big pen. You can just sketch over the white with a big pen. So don't worry about messing up this stuff. Some random dots like that. Randomness is good. Just add whatever. Maybe make this a bit stronger like that. And let's also work on the spokes. The only thing I'm, the, the one thing that I'm thinking about right now is just uh, the light source and where the light is coming from. And I'm thinking about where, what surfaces are facing up and what surfaces are facing down. And that's gonna give me 
That's going to guide me where to put these things, the white stuff. It looks a lot better than it did 10 minutes ago. This rim. I might have to, yeah, I probably have to fix this curve. That's a later issue. Uh, where else have, do we have highlights here? Uh, the door cut lines and this line right here have a highlight on it. This I want to be quick with this line. It's a bit too slow so I got too much ink on it. It's all good. Let's see if I can do this one better. Yep. Oh, I did it on the wrong side of the black line. Now it looks weird because the black line, uh, the black line here is on the right side of the white, and here it's on the left side of the white. It's just like an inverted door, I guess. And I'm gonna add some to this chrome part as well. There we go. So you see this thing here that I got too much of, I'm just gonna fill this in with a big pen and just erase some of that white. Uh, what else? We have the, let's see. This is supposed to be a big chrome A pillar right here. That A pillar is a bit too thick, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now, it's fine. And there's a chrome line going around the window. So now I gotta be careful because I don't wanna mess up these, these uh, white lines here. I don't think they've dried yet, so I gotta keep my hand off there. And try to make this little thing up here. So yeah, for those asking about uh, YouTube, uh, all my previous live sessions are up on YouTube as well. So if you want to go check them out, you can just search for the Sketch Monkey on YouTube and the Sketch Monkey little face are going to pop up there with, uh, <laughs> with all the videos. Uh, and yeah, from now on, hopefully these are going to be better quality than, than uh, previous videos high de more high def high definition doing the same thing here as as we did on the the rear rim just adding some highlights adding some burn points on the rims like this one down here just follow the rim like that. I don't know. Do we need to do anything else? Maybe add one right here. Yeah, sure. You might even add, I'm not sure if we want to do that add one right in the middle of the body that goes here. I don't think so. We do, however, have a chrome thing going around this wheel arch just as we had on the rear. Might even add a burn point to this thing. See how it looks. 
burn point are these uh, points where the highlight is so strong that it kind of expands. Same thing on this rim here, we have a burn point right here. If you look at reflections in real life, you can see what I mean. Alright, so I think the final step here is to... Uh, this is kind of an important step. It's going to clean the whole thing up, so that's just back to the big pen. We're done with the highlights, we're done with the markers. And now we just want to go back and clean this sketch up. And we do that, uh, sorry, by just um, cleaning up the all the lines that we had from the start, the initial lines, we want to get them back. Because it's going to sharpen up the whole thing. Huh? Are you done? No, I'm uh, like 10 minutes, 5 maybe. And if you, wa <clears throat> if you want, you can add a black outline to this car to make it more, it's going to make it look more like an illustration than a, uh, than a different kind of sketch, I guess. I mean, if you want to add some illustration style to it, you just add a black outline to the whole car. And you can test it and it's, you, you'll see what I mean. It's going to look a bit different. So this thing here, I kind of think it's too big, so I want to reduce this white, and I just do that by going over it with a big pen. And the big pen defines the highlight, so I can define where I want the highlight to go and how thick and small I want it to be. Also adding some shadows from the spokes onto the inner wheel. Just details that you can either skip if you want to, or you can add them. I think that's cool. I'm done with this part, and we definitely need to clean up this window the window line because it's a bit too messy and the top line as well now let's try and f define this A pillar. Uh, just add a line there. <laughs> Lazy style to fix it. I might. Uh, I should have added some blue there as well, but uh, it's fine. All right this thing as well so the door line here I wasn't happy with has too much white on it let's add back some black and almost done just gotta finish this wheel here as well do the same thing as I did on the rear I wanted to find the the highlight and I want to try to make it as round as possible just freehand uh, see what part sticks out too much or whatever just try to go around and adjust it and let's add some shading from the spokes here as well I just love this part with the big fan it's so satisfying to just go in and clean clean the sketch up and make all these details I like it
I think it's my favorite step. This and adding highlights is probably are probably the two steps that I enjoy the most. All right, I think we are. I think we are done. So, as I said, this video is going to be on YouTube either probably tomorrow, tomorrow night, or something like that. So make sure you subscribe. I get upload every video there, and uh, if you haven't watched all the other videos. I think I have, I don't know how many sketching videos I have on my uh, channel, but there are a lot. So even if you have like detailed stuff like uh, problems with sketching wheels, I, I get that question often, how, how to sketch wheels. And I think I have like two or three videos on uh, wheel sketching, so you can check stuff like that out as well, detailed things. Also, I want to add just to finish this some highlight because there are some chrome parts in here and I don't want to miss that all right I think we're done so that's it for this time I want to say thank you to everyone who watched this video I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, come and watch it so I hope to see you next time and keep sketching Of course we gotta sign this like that. Done.